Good kitten and kitten. Kitten, not kitten him. And welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Uh, where we last left off, we have finally promoted our entire party, and we have significantly more party members now. Um, let's go ahead and go to the tavern at this point and see if there's anything new. Him. And finding the weird fruit, kid. Don't worry, kid. We're on the case. Because that's what we do. Um, take a look at what people have. Macroman can go into it. That actually was where I wanted to be. And Macroman moved a wagon. Herb, herb magic oil, your potion, herb, herb madness book. Madness book is getting moved to Flint. Frog, you need healing item. Got a healing item. You've got healing. Got magic oil. Okay. That should be fine. Going to pick up another healing item, though. How are you doing today? Move, shop. A little on the tired side. Also, for some reason, my file servers have some issues because temperatures are a little high. I need to attend to that after. Um, I'm uploading the previous video right now, so I can't do that at the moment. I am a little sad I wasn't able to pick up the mood ring. But that's okay. I don't know why, but my brain with this music always thinks jellyfish is being said. I don't just... I've got nothing. Also, uh, you'll notice that last episode and this episode I don't have kitty cam up. That's because the kitties are asleep. It's sleepy kitty time. Wait a minute, Ash. You're going to the ruins. I'd like to go with you, even though I've already joined your party and you've already promoted me. We should probably be, you know, technically. Unlike the villagers who are just under some hypnotic spell, the soldiers can't be. There's no way I'll free them from them. I'm going too! If I don't, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. You're going too, right, Eamon? Just keep. Do you want to go back there? What is wrong with you? Alone. Okay, fine. I got it. I'll go to. Yeah, Eamon and uh, Sarah have a thing. You couldn't already tell. So let's go to the beach, which is inland. Okay. That's Diego. He is the only one wearing a banana. Eh, can't speak bandana in this game. Enemies! Too many, but. Uh oh, there's more behind us! I'll take care of the ones back here. Don't be a fool! Yep. That's right, we start surrounded. Damn, there's still more! We're totally surrounded. Stick together or we'll never get out of here. Alright. So there is the special something in this battle. It is in the cross-shaped swamp. That is the only thing that I specifically care about in this battle. Otherwise, that's the only hidden item here. And the hidden item... Here. So I'm gonna need to send a flyer out there. 
and you will notice that this time the game was smart and actually put multiple people of different classes together. So we've got a flyer, we've got an archer, we've got a soldier, and we've got a guard. Everything but mages. There are no mages on this battlefield. So something to keep in mind. Also, these two goobers are stuck back there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to attack back first. For not quite overhead view, but I prefer that angle. And let's set the zoom to be distant because this is a fairly large battle. There are no flyers back here also, unfortunately. Fortunate. Okay, we have to make sure we do not step or land in swamp. We can walk over swamp, but we cannot land in swamp. Now you get to see what the type differences do, because archers are strong against ghosts. That was nearly 70 damage to a ghost. All right, Dolan, you're going to stand there. I think that stops you from attacking back. No, it doesn't. Eamon. Time to see some new class action. Oh yeah. Much better damage on Eamon now. Hawks are the strongest melee unit in the game. Well, with one exception. You're going to notice that I'm going to say there's one exception to a lot of things. It's a special thing in the game, so don't worry. Um, otherwise, they are damn good. You will notice that Sarah does not have any new magic. That's because Sarah is now on the monk level up schedule for magic, not the healer level up schedule. Or priest, I think it was. Yeah, priest. Um... Heal and I has piercing right though. And we're gonna use it. Fortunately, I can't get both of those knife. I think I need to move up one more knife. No, I don't. That's what I want. Though, unlike Shining Force 2, you can target a blank tile for your MFX spells, not just an enemy. Piercing Ray, which we've seen before. It's the same attack as what the weird statues were doing. Also, that was 66 damage to an armored enemy. This is the first battle that we actually, finally, get to use everybody's type advantage. Now, see how far monks can move? Isn't that nice? It's really nice. Oh, it's too high up. Oh, that's gonna suck. Really wanna move there? Kind of, yeah. Wait a second, hold on a moment. He doesn't have Mystic Shield anymore. What? That's definitely not supposed to happen. That must be some of the new stuff for the Saturn, because he should definitely have Mystic Shield. I think this still makes sense to me, fortunately. Just get rid of as many enemies as I can. first, but oh well. Making sure that she does not get surrounded entirely. Still gonna end up getting surrounded, unfortunately. Kira, can you? No. No, you can't. That would be too easy. Gonna have to go after the sniper. Bonk! Are you in range? No. You're prob- yeah, you're in range of the other sniper. That I'm not as concerned about right now. I mostly just want to make sure I don't end up with... Wishy Healer Syndrome. 
Oh, that's definitely not gonna happen anymore. There's only one enemy down there. Flint levels up. All right, I think this makes sense. I mean, I'm a little hesitant about keeping Kira like that, but I don't think I have a choice. But he's gone. Oh boy. Yeah, this is the problem, that I'm gonna be attacked by two imps. Luckily, Kira does have an herb on her. Probably gonna end up needing it. And she's not gonna end up surrounded. But she will be attacked by both imps. One of the imps will die, though. Bonk! Yeah, let's just say that Kira was not going to have any problems in leveling up in this case. Right, you're attacking the monk, as I would expect. Which hurts a lot. I just like the nee, 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 type of attack. Yep, you're attacking Dolan. That's a mistake. Only 19 damage, but look at that axe spin. Oh, that looks so much cooler. I mean, don't get me wrong, I kind of like Dolan dicing out an infinity symbol, but... You know, axe spinning. I mean, Dolan's still doing a crap ton of damage to something that he's not strong against. He's not weak against them either, to be fair, but... You'll take damage if you stay inside the poison marshes! Stay sharp! Thanks, Captain. You know, it being poison and all that. Okay, where is your movement? So if I move here, I can still be attacked. If I move here, I can't be. Got it. Well, attacked by those moves. Can I attack from here? No. I'm still doing that, though. Here, go ahead and herb yourself. Just make sure you stay less squishy. You're going to be attacked one more time next turn. Use magic against armor types. It makes them die quick. Only slight slowdown that time. Dead. Thank you, Eli and I. Oh, hey, look, Eli is already leveled up to 11. Told you it wouldn't take long for her to catch up. Okay, what do we have coming? Well, first off, we're gonna need to deal with that thing. Um, how far can you move? You can attack Dolan next turn. We'll want to move Dolan back. After I take out that ghost, of course. Like I said, in this game, I don't have to worry as much about keeping everybody evenly XP'd. Because it's easy to rebalance XP. Bucks, please. No, thank you. I just realized instead of using the herb, I could have actually had Sarah heal. But Sarah can also heal herself. Sure, I'm not going to problems with health. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. Position, heal thyself. I wonder if that means that the sorcery monks lose their second spell, too. Their second spell would be Spellbind, and that would be terrible. Spellbind is practically a requirement for me. Okay. Once this one commits seppuku against my archer, actually, they might not. They'll have height advantage. 
they would take less damage. Um, I was going to say then it would be safe for Eamon to come by. Oh, uh, they don't actually have height advantage. They might be dead. Don't know. That's right in the roll a random thing. They could also go down here, which once more, roll a random thing. I think Clint can defend Kira, that's not a problem. Heyman, I'm gonna need to prep you to start falling posterior. I'm going to need Eamon to search in the middle of the swamp, for reference. And the reason why I'm having Eamon do that is really simple. Because he flies and thus doesn't get poisoned. He's not touching the ground. Go. <sighs> this is why I needed at least one hawk, for reference. Oh, you decided to do that. Interesting. Okay. Probably a smart. Yeah, unfortunately, if the AI is actually doing a decent, was doing a decent job at not poisoning themselves. Oh, hey, look! There's a nice little area of effect there. Unfortunately, they're not hitting the cool thing there, but it's still a nice area of effect. I don't want to move up. Baron, not swamp. Bonk. Give me your XP. <laughs> Foolish mortals. No, they're probably not mortal, especially since that's a ghost. Hi. How you doing? Oh, you have Axon back syndrome. I'm sorry. Man, that must sting having Axon back syndrome. You're dead. Oh yeah, out of curiosity. So Sarah has 48 attack, Grog has 59. This is the problem with monks, is that they're weaker versions of the sword class. So defense 67, agility 43. Yeah, they're almost strictly weaker, but they do have more movement and they do have better agility. So they dodge things more often and again, they have more movement. But they're nothing compared to that. Um, like having the hawk nearby an archer. You can't hit that archer with it. Nope. Um, my best bet is to actually mystic shield aim it and send out. Because I'm going to need it. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of enemies. You're dead. The, the hawks don't jump anymore because they're constantly bouncing. Wait, they shouldn't have gotten poisoned from being there. What? Is that actually in PS1 version, or am I just misremembering? Well, I mean, I've done it now, so. So I suppose that means that I'll actually have something for my monk to cast. Slow down. I 
here. Okay. Bonk. Yeah, I'm fine now. Could have done it the other way around. Wouldn't have taken damage then. I'm probably. Take your 20. Attacking Clint. Which, this can be bad, depending on how much damage they dealt. In this case, it's fine. Because you can only... Yeah, you can attack Kira. That's the problem. Luckily, you still don't do that much damage due to the height difference, and you're still getting bonked upside the head. Cool. We're fine over there. Okay, you're punching Eamon in the back. This might be a problem, because I've got an archer to deal with. This is going to be the painful part. I'm alive. It's fine. Okay. Next turn, I'll be able to scout the swamp. I'm gonna have Eamon heal himself just in case, though. There we go. Much better. Hi, have you met my new friend, Sarah? Sarah's a fun gal, don't you think? 50. 50. <laughs> I also have my friend Grog here. He likes waving a sword at your knees. Oh, dodged. Archer's gonna live. Bolin won't, but the archer will. And that's actually fine. Uh, Dolan is level 11, Ash is level 11, Lenai nice level 11, Huxley's level 11. Hux, start moving over there. Your healing skills might actually be needed. Hill and I, you know what you need. Yeah, I can't get it. Though I could piercing ray and hit both of them. Sweet, that sounds like a great plan. I don't want the archer to win. Goodbye, both of you. Ah, it's so nice having mages. All right. Kira, you have to kill this thing. But you can do that by moving back. Technically, Kira's not the one that has to kill, but that thing needs to be dead on this turn. Good. Then we're fine. The archer, I can always walk up and smite. As long as the archer doesn't... Well, the archer might commit seppuku against Kira, but probably not. All right. There's no enemies left over here, so there's no reason. You see how little they move. It's ridiculous. Yep, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. How are you? This is back to the short videos, apparently. All right. First thing is first. Eamon. Please get the banana out of the swamp, because that makes sense. The odd banana. And then move out of the swamp. That's what they can do. That's what it was. I might as well gain some XP from healing. Uh, third. 
down a bit. Not. You're not. You are. Okay, so Sarah can heal herself. Oh, that movement is glorious. Well, sad that Mystic Shield got taken out. I like that spell, though. Huxley, you're going to heal one of them. I'm going to heal Clint just in case. Clint, you're gonna smash. You're dead. Hee <laughs> hee. And that's battle. Be much quicker than the last video. Oh, it's an odd number. I don't understand. How can these fortress ruins also be Terora's Ark? I don't com understand either. But the idea of an Ark may be the result of a bad translation from the ancient language of Duron. Duron? Duron. I'm gonna say Duron. Hmm. There really was a great calamity as written, then the people would have been more likely to go inside a fortress rather than a ship. By the way, where'd Diego go? Or, where'd Kira go? Flint is isn't around either. That creep! I saw her first! Well, I hope you had a good reason to call me here. Or you hope you called me here for a good reason. A war. You fight too recklessly. I think I've more than proven my bad prowess in that. Oh, I admit that you're a first class. You fight as if you have nothing to do. There's a sadness to you. It's almost as though you don't care what you live or not. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Peace. Wait! Yes, did thank you for today? This is Kira's theme, if I remember correctly. It has lots of notes of sadness. You two have some type of fight, because if so, right here. I looked everywhere for you. Self-righteous jerk! Hey. Before you say that, listen to this. Diego is actually being serious for the first time. He saw his lover slain in front of his own. Uh, what? Yup. Been over three years now? This come we did it had a grudge against Clint and Clint knew it. Bastard shot her and galloped away. All in front of him. He still blames himself for not preventing it. He eats him up on the inside. Why he tends to come on a little strong? He cares so much. I don't believe there is a single character in this game that doesn't have some type of tragic backstory. No, I think the last character you gained doesn't have one, but that's just because they didn't bother giving a story at all. Um, although it depends on your definition of backstory also, because we've already seen Dolan's. The fact that his entire military troop, other than Eamon and um, 
Sarah have been turned into monsters. Oh yeah, I need to scan the next pictures, don't I? Uh, I'll do that after this. Um, yeah, everyone has something bad that's happened in the past. Everyone. I had no idea. And they do skimp on the details a bit, but it's enough for me mentally to extrapolate. But before we do anything else, let's go back to Yuzo Village and give that strange person back their odd banana. You fetch that weird fruit for me! It's laying in the poison swamp, so I can't eat it. But you've done me a favor, so please take this in return. I found it near the ruins. Earth key. Second key. Now, technically we could just do these now if we wanted to. Uh, I mentioned this before, that I'm planning on doing them later. And the reason being is actually really simple. You have your party with you at the time that you do them. That includes any characters that you pick up after. So I intentionally didn't want to do any of the trials before getting... Um, Dolan, Eamon, or Sarah, because that was three characters all in a row that I was not very far off of getting. I might as well wait. At this point, it's going to be a while before we have our final two characters. Um, one of them's next chapter, one of them's chapter after, I think. Or it might be both next chapter, just one toward the beginning, one toward the end. Thing. So we've got a while. Don't know. But this is where I'm going to be leaving it. Um, let's go ahead and save. Hope you've been enjoying this so far, Internet. Um, I'm having a blast, at least. Talk to you later. Bye! Oh, right, I was going to scan those pictures in. One moment. Alright, this is the next page from the manual. Um, you can tell from here that... Uh, Bigging it for me so I can read it. Um, you can tell from here that Kira is 22 years old. And yes, she is drawn that way in the manual as well. Um, apparently a belt mage from the sheer number of belts she has on. Can you, can you count the number of belts? I swear the strap going down her butt is also a belt. Um, she's 22 years old. And then there's Huxley, who's 65, right over there who apparently um, has two arms coming out of one shoulder, according to the drawing. Just saying. Um, then you have Grog over toward the, I guess, your right, my left. Super mirror image. Uh, Grog is 26, and Dolan is 41. For reference, um, Eamon and Sarah are the youngest characters of the group at 19 and 17. If I remember right. Um, I can't show them because the other half of the page does, in fact, have the other two characters on there, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Um, double check, I have this here. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, Eamon is 18 and Sarah is 17, at least at the moment. Uh, the game does take place over multiple years, so they will be growing up. Yep, that's pretty much it. So once more, I hope you've enjoyed this internet. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.